Hey guys, it's a cold day in April. Um, on the shores of Lake Superior, you'll see me hunting for fluorescent soda light. That's the rocks that it reacts to certain ultraviolet light. So let's go find some. I don't know if you can hear me with this microphone and all the loud waves, but you see that? This is a small one. Just found a rather beautiful one, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear this very well, but that's a beauty. Ugh. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and the light at the same time, so forgive me. Look at that. All right. Sometimes you have to look in the hard to find place. Uh, that's another nice one. Finding all kinds of them tonight. Other things that fluoresce, garbage. Um, this is, I don't know what this is. Feels like a cloth. Um, you see that leaf there that also fluoresces. Organic material fluoresces. Um, but I'm gonna take this out. I've always tried to take out any kind of trash or garbage that I find when I'm out hunting for rocks. It's a good practice. It really works best to do this later at night, but I found that um, the camera doesn't work best in the dark. So <laughs> it's treacherous here. The, the rocks are freezing after the waves hit them. So I'm gonna bounce around a little bit, but I can still find them with this powerful UV light during uh, dusk hours. Um, but it'll certainly, they'll certainly look better when I get them at home and put them under uh, an array of lights that I have set up for this. Uh, but again, as I find them, I'll show them to you. And hopefully I'll find some now, this early, when it's still light out. If so, you'll see. If not, well, I'll try to get some footage as the uh, evening progresses. Because I'm going to be out here for a couple hours. And it's going to get dark. Not all rocks that um, glow under UV light are fluorescent soda light. Uh, this one's an example. It's interesting, I love the color, so I'm gonna take it home and let you look at it under different lighting. Water, guys. This one was uh, just buried in waves a minute ago, but my light cut right through it, so. That's a good one. Whoa. That's a nice one. It's got an interesting pattern. You can see it's got some nice reds and blacks. So it'll look nice during the day as well as under UV light. Not a lot of soda light in this one. But I'm going to take it home. Put it under some light and let you take another look at it. I'm gonna shoot. Another neat one. Here's another favorite of mine. It's not the uh, typical orange that you expect to see with the uh, fluorescent soda light. It's actually kind of uh, blue, very blue. I'm gonna take this one home, put it under some more controlled lighting conditions. Oh, oh there it is. And show you what it looks like compared to uh, soda light. There's another big one, look at that. Nice. It's not the brightest, but it is full of soda light. This will make someone happy. You know, I think I'm going to give this one away at the end of the video. Um, let's make a contest. Yeah, whoever wants a monster soda light, you just let me know. If you 
you're coming out this early in the season, you really got to watch your step. Everything's icy. And they look like that. Another beautiful one I found in the water. Oh boy. I'm gonna get wet for this one, but uh oh, where'd it go? There it is. Ah, that's worth it. Look at that beauty. Wow, I love the stripes. Woo! There's another one in the water, gang. It's a beauty. Wasn't very deep, but that's a nice color. The color's a little off now. It's getting dark out. Uh, these rocks are frozen. It gets very slippery. This time of year, you're hunting for these stones, the wet rocks, it freezes at night. Well, you got the idea. Oh my goodness. I might not get that one. Kind of neat. Kind of a neat rock. Come on. <laughs> okay, it moved. It moved. There we go. It's got a little green to it. Can't see it here, but again, I'll take them home, let you take a look at them under uh, more controlled conditions. There's another really neat one, this blue guy right here. I'll take that home, let you take a look at it. Pretty cool. Hey guys, it's gotten really dark out, <laughs> but I just found a huge rock I need to share with you. Um, I'll take it home again. I'll show you all these stones that I find under more controlled conditions where there's not a raging lake to compete with as far as volume is concerned and stuff. But check this out. I have to turn the camera around, turn this light off. Alright, so this big stone I found, right there. Look at that beaut. It's in the water. Again guys, always look in the water. Try not to get soaked. Wow. That's a beautiful rock. Probably weighs about three pounds. Come on, focus. There we go. And there's a lot of sodalite to it. So I might make some jewelry out of this one, maybe a sphere. In fact, at the end of this video, I'll show you some of my spheres, so stay tuned. I got a bunch of them. One last look at the nice, friendly beach. Kind of hard to navigate that, and all these rocks here that are close are all frozen. I fell on my butt a couple of times already. Rubber boots and uh, frozen rocks do not mix, I tell you that much. But I had a lot of fun tonight. Let's go look at what I found. All right, I'm heading back to the car. Sorry about the audio tonight. That lake was a lot louder uh, than I expected. But I had a lot of fun, found some really nice stones. And I'll share them with you when I get back home. Again, I'm going to take some still pictures, uh, show you them under more controlled lighting. And um, I'm going to do a giveaway too. I'm not going to give away that big one. I'm going to make some jewelry out of that or maybe a sphere. In fact, I'll show you some of my spheres tonight. Got some really nice ones and some of my jewelry. I have some jewelry for sale if you want to help support the channel. But um, yeah, let's get home. Dry off. Fell a couple of times back there. No fun. And I'll tell you all about it and show you what I got. So there they are under fluorescent lights. There's that ghosty white one and the blue one is kind of neat. I like the way it contrasts with the rest. This is the one that was really in the water. Um, got soaked. My arm got soaked a little bit getting it, but beautiful stone. Okay. This is the large one that I found. I was going to give it away. Um to one of my subscribers, but you know what? I decided to do this one instead. That is such a beautiful rock. If you guys stuck with me this far through the video, you deserve a chance to win this rock. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think um, a good name would be for it. 
and I'm going to do a random drawing in a couple of weeks. So there you go. Whoever wants a beautiful rock, let me know. Now the best for last. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Just huge. I'm going to make some some um, spheres out of this one or maybe some jewelry. I'll show you some stills of some jewelry that I have for sale. Because it's kind of narrow, I'm not going to be able to make a, um, a large sphere out of it. <clears throat> it would probably end up being about this size. It's the first sphere I ever made. Eric Rintemacki made that one for me. It's kind of nice. Here's another one of my favorites. Just beautiful one there. Turned into spheres. The better quality ones. So there you go, guys. Uh, leave a like. Leave me a comment. Um, if you do, you get entered into the drawing. I have to be able to see your um, uh, subscription to my channel publicly. Uh, so bear that in mind. And uh, with that, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.